Hey guys, before I get this video started, I want to let you know the reseller rally has been postponed. It was scheduled for Saturday, September 26th, and we have postponed it to June 5th, 2021. Back in February, when we announced this thing, uh, none of us expected that all this craziness would happen. And it was like a month after we announced it that the pandemic hit pretty hard. And since then, we've been really closely keeping an eye on the COVID cases, like how fast they're spreading and whether or not we were gonna be able to do this thing. We're only about like nine weeks away from it. And I just don't see how we can really pull it off. So our number one concern is keeping everybody safe. And with that many people being so closely packed in on that boat, I just don't see how we can do that. So we just thought it'd be the best thing to go ahead and postpone it. We appreciate you guys being so understanding and we're still really looking forward to having a good time with you guys. Just gonna be a little bit further out than we expected. Tickets are sold out, but they might become available if somebody that has a ticket can't do that date, then we've got a waiting list. So if you wanna be put on the waiting list, just shoot me an email at cincinnatipicker at gmail.com. I'll put a link down below in the description. Hey guys, it's Monday morning. I've got a really busy day today. I have 34 eBay orders to ship out and I haven't really replenished my antique booth for I think like two weeks. So I'm gonna take a big van load of stuff over there and I'll bring you guys with me. All right, first thing is this Black & Decker Space Maker toaster that I picked up last weekend. I got this at a garage shop for $5. I think I listed it for $60 plus shipping. Um, a viewer reached out to me who's bought a lot from me in the past. He offered $45 plus shipping and I accepted. Next is over here an E1. I have a feeling there's multiple things in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and bring this whole bin over. All right, first thing is this little iPod. This is part of that um, video game electronic buy I just made, so I've probably only got a couple dollars into it. This worked great, but these just are not going for a lot of money, unfortunately. Uh, this sold for $13.99, free shipping. Next thing we're pulling out of here is a bobblehead. This is a Sandy LMR Jr. I got this up in Cleveland with all that other stuff, and this sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Okay, I sold this souvenir book in here somewhere where's it at here we go um this is also in that cleveland buy it's 1937 great lakes exposition souvenir tickets there's like a booklet of them these sold for 14.99 free shipping and the same buyer got something over here in d4 this is an led slim light this sold for 11.99 plus shipping it's going out to viewer named keith who's bought for me before so keith thank you so much for the support i really hope you like that stuff all right another thing we're pulling out of e1 is this miller brewery hard hat also something i found up in cleveland it seems like all that stuff is selling this sold for $34.99 plus shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Gerald who bought it for his uncle who he says is a big Miller fan. So Gerald, thank you for the business. I hope your uncle loves this hat. Okay, next thing we're pulling out is this Guinness Penguin. Once again, this is part of the Cleveland stuff that I just bought. This is just a really cool piece. It's sort of like a plastic rubber and this thing is pretty rare. This sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Okay, I also sold this Beavis and Butthead book. I think this is the last thing in this bin that I sold. Picked this up at a church sale last weekend. I think it was either 50 cents or a dollar. It sold for $24.99 free shipping. That book is going out to your name, Dustin. He says, hey, John, it's Dustin, a.k.a. The Peninsula Picker. Just wanted to thank you for the continued support of us new resellers. I always love supporting you when I can. Dustin, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. I'm also shipping out a couple sales I made outside of eBay to a couple of viewers. First are these two Nikon D40X cameras. I got these at a garage sale a couple of weeks ago. Lady said she wasn't sure if they worked. She didn't have the charger for the batteries or anything like that. So I was planning on listing them as is. A viewer named Kyle reached out, interested in the pair. So I sold them to him for $40 free shipping. And a viewer named Frank reached out about this Atari stuff. Uh, there's two systems, all the cords, cables, and a whole bunch of games with manuals and everything and he bought them for a hundred dollars free shipping kyle and frank thank you guys for the business hope you're really happy with that stuff all right next thing i'm shipping out is an e2 and once again i'm pretty sure I've got more than one item in here so we're just gonna bring the whole tote over uh let's see i know i sold this three pack of hunger games books Got these at a garage sale for $3. It's been about a month or two, I think. They sold for $21.99 free shipping. And they're gonna go media mail, so they'll probably cost me about four or five bucks to ship. Next is a mirror. I'm gonna put it in this uh, bubble mailer in here just to keep it protected. It is a strawberry shortcake mirror, and it's pretty uncommon. I got this at a garage sale 
Last weekend for 75 cents, it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is a little farmer guy. I've got a handful of these, so I gotta make sure I'm shipping out the right one. All right, this guy right here, this is made by Lowell Davis, and this is on one of the tractors that I just bought in that collection up in Cleveland. Uh, these are actually made to sit on the 118 or 116 scale tractors. Uh, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, I sold another iPod down in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, this was also part of that recent buy I just made with all the video games and electronics and everything. This thing would not hold any kind of charge, unfortunately. It's a fourth generation, so I sold it as is for $19.99 free shipping. Okay, next thing I'm shipping out is a car up here in C8. I think I got a couple of them out of here that sold. First is this Chevy Impala. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And next is this 1956 Ford pickup truck this sold for $24.99 plus shipping my buddy Ronnie actually bought this truck Ronnie has a channel called hearts pickers it was one of the first channels I ever started watching the guy really knows his stuff so if you aren't already subscribed to Ronnie I highly recommend checking it out and Ronnie thank you for the support buddy really appreciate it all right next is over here in E8 it is this orange truck this is a 1957 Chevy pickup truck this sold for $19.99 plus shipping all right next thing we're pulling is an H7 right up here I think I might have sold more than one in here so I'm gonna double check but I know I sold this one right here this is a 1957 Corvette. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Let's go ask if you're named Edward. Edward, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, I also sold this orange truck right here as part of a buy that has four cars. So I'm going to pull that and pull the other ones too. All right, that order has a couple cars here in G7. First is this 1934 Ford Hot Rod. Also this Texaco truck right here. And finally in that order is a car in E8. It's actually a fire truck. This one right here. Okay, those four sold for $79.96 plus shipping. And then that same buyer bought two more. Let's see, one of them is right here. This is a 57 Chevy. And there's one in B8. Where is it at? Right here. This is a 49 Mercury. And those two sold for $29.98 plus shipping. I'm going to combine all six cars in one box and refund them the difference on the shipping cost. Those six cars are going out to a repeat buyer who is a viewer named Christina. So Christina, thank you so much for the business. I hope you love those cars. All right, next thing is in B3. This is a TI-83 Plus graphing calculator. I got this at a garage sale about a month ago. I paid a dollar for it. Unfortunately, it did not work. So I sold it as is, uh, parts of repair for $12.99, free shipping. Let's go on to a viewer named Justin who says, hey, love the YouTube videos. I had one of these when I was a kid and want to take a shot at fixing it. Justin, thank you for the business and I hope you get that thing up and running. Okay, we're going back to G7. Sold this dump truck. This is one of the ones I just bought in that big collection up in Cleveland. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. This is by the First Gear brand. So if you guys see the First Gear trucks and cars out and about and you get them for a good price, go ahead and pick them up because they sell for some pretty decent money. All right, going back over to E8. Sold this 1953 Ford F100 truck for $14.99 plus shipping. The Ford truck is going out to your name, Daniel. Daniel, thank you for the support. It means a lot. All right, next is over here in B8. It is a Coca-Cola truck. This thing just has a really cool look to it. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. My Coke truck is going out to your name, Shelly, who got it for her nephew for his birthday. So, Shelly, thank you for the business. I really hope he likes that truck. Okay, going back up to G7. So this Caterpillar Excavator, uh, this sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Your name William bought the Excavator. William, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. Okay, next I sold some of this Aqua Age stuff that I got a couple weeks ago at a garage sale. Okay, I sold two of these, uh, Fortifying Ultra Gel. Um, one buyer bought both of them for $35.98 free shipping. And then I sold one of these jars of Remolding Elastic. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I've got about 3 or $4 each into this and these two. All right, next is down here in F6. These are some uh, Timberland women's boots. Got these in a garage for $3, maybe like five or six weeks ago. Had them listed for about like 40 or best offer. Someone sent a best offer of $25 plus shipping and I accepted. Okay, next thing is up here in A8. This is a big John Deere tractor. 
116 scale. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Let's go on some viewer named Steven. Steven, thank you for the business. I really hope you like that tractor. Okay, next is that nailing gun kit that I bought a couple weeks ago. This guy right here. Found this at a garage sale. New in the packaging for $25. It sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing is some floor mats. These right here. These go to Alexis. Paid $10 for these at a garage sale. They sold for $49.99 plus shipping. If you guys ever find genuine OEM floor mats for pretty much any car, pick them up if they're cheap enough because they do pretty well. All right, next we're going to C2. This is a German Stein. Picked this up for a couple dollars last year, actually. I've had this for quite a while. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is right here B8. I think this is the last car in this box. This is a 1957 Chevy Nomad. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's go on to viewing Paul. Paul, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next is an E7. It is this one right here. This is a first gear brand cement truck. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Something else out of C2. I guess I could have just stayed in that bin. This is a DVD I got at a garage sale. Thought it'd be worth more. 50 cents, new in the plastic. Uh, 50 cents is what I paid. It sold for $7.99, free shipping. All right, last thing we're pulling for today is an A4. This is a Teletubby, one of the ones my mother-in-law gave me. This sold for $13.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, everything's packed up. Got to get these shipped out to the post office, and then I'm headed over to the antique booth. All right, guys, I'm at my antique mall, and I've got a van load of stuff ready to go. Kind of looks like a mess, but I've got some artwork. Here's an old train calendar, big pitchfork, a huge box of bobbleheads, an old sled. I've got a big box of records back there. There's like 50 of them. I got all those priced and in sleeves ready to go. There's a TV card I just picked up, a little table cooler and then i've got like a bunch more stuff up there too so i'm gonna get this stuff unloaded and get it in the booth all right guys since i've last been here a lot of you have stopped by and signed the guest book i want to give a special thank you to susan jim and michelle lily and jamin chris and wendy john and rachel austin alex and jordan courtney kathy todd melody tom and sue devin tom brian and corey jonah and simon and Eric, thank you all so much for stopping by the booth. I really appreciate it. All right, here's the first one I filled up. I brought in a ton of bobbleheads, filled it up with a couple wall hangers and a whole bunch of records for this one. All right, here's my second booth. I also put a bunch of records in here. Um, cooler, some furniture pieces, that radio flyer, some blocks, and some more wall hangers too. Just trying to fill these things up. It's Tuesday morning, I'm at my storage units and I'm trying to empty out my big unit today. I've got a little more than a week left before the end of the month. So I'm trying to get that thing emptied out so I don't have to pay rent on it anymore. My buddy Jared is on his way here. He's gonna help me empty this thing out. There's actually a Goodwill donation center not too far from here. So we're just gonna load up my van, load up his truck and take a bunch of trips and just get rid of the rest of the stuff. It's been a while since I've updated you guys on these units um mostly because there just hasn't been a whole lot going on i think it's been the last two or three weeks where i just haven't been selling much i've just been kind of sitting here i kind of neglected them a little bit and as you can see this big unit i mean it's almost totally empty i've sold off you know almost all the sellable stuff in here that i can i've had a lot of people come in and buy a bunch of stuff uh, i've taken some stuff to my antique booths put a lot on ebay put a lot on my website and i think this unit is just at the point now where i got to get rid of this stuff uh there's a couple pieces still like the furniture um you know i'm probably gonna do like facebook marketplace for the dresser and some of the end tables and stuff like that stuff's still sellable but other than that the rest of this is just gonna be goodwill and trash as far as my other two units i've got two 10 by 40s down this way and one of them I'm planning on keeping because my antique mall is not too far from here and I kind of like the idea of having a good back stock of inventory that I can just replenish that all the time. So I'm planning on keeping one of those and the other one I'm hoping to empty out by the end of next month. There's a lot of furniture in there and some of it's good sellable furniture and some of it's not. Unfortunately our Goodwills are not taking furniture right now. So 
I guess I'm just gonna have to do a big Facebook marketplace ad for some furniture to get rid of some of that stuff. These storage units have definitely been a really good learning experience for me. I bought them back in March. I paid $4,000 for the inventory. And since then I've been paying $500 a month on rent. So that $4,000 investment is now $5,500. And when I get this big one emptied, my rent's cut in half to about 250 So all in all, I've invested around $6,500 on these. And my gross sales so far are a little over 20 grand. I've made some good money on these and I've learned a lot about a lot of different categories of stuff that I really didn't know much about. This guy had a good eye for stuff that I typically don't buy. So I've been able to learn and sell some of that stuff that typically I might've just walked by at a garage sale, which has been really valuable. I've been logging my hours working on these storage units and I'm over 250 hours worked trying to get these things empty. There was just so much stuff and it's just so much work. I've still got a lot of work to do because I've got probably at least four or five hours finishing this one and then a good amount of time empty in the other ones too so overall i'm really happy with this deal i think it went really well and i think it came at a perfect time too because when i had the opportunity to buy these there really weren't any garage sales going on garage sales were kind of non-existent so inventory was a little bit of a problem for me so this worked out well honestly i feel like if i had the chance to buy these in the middle of garage sale season i don't know if i would have just because it takes so much time to dedicate to it that the payoff with the amount of work to do isn't quite the same as just going to garage sales and finding stuff. It's just a little bit different, but all in all, I'm pretty happy I did it. All right, we finally got that big unit emptied out. It took us a couple hours, it wasn't too bad. It took a whole bunch of stuff to Goodwill. Jared's gonna take some of the metal and scrap it, which I'm fine with, you know, he can make a little bit of money too. And my car is loaded with trash. So we got that thing totally emptied out. And there's a guy that kind of works with the uh, storage unit place here that does some like trash and junk removal. So um, he's gonna take out the rest of what I got in my second unit, which is just, you know, furniture that's not very great, some odds and ends household. So he's just going to clear all that out for me, which is awesome. So as long as all that goes well later today, then I'm going to only be down to the one unit, which I am thrilled about. Just a little bit more than $100 a month in. I'm just going to keep it that way. I can just have back stock inventory for my antique booths. All right, I'm heading back to the warehouse now. I've got, I think, about a dozen eBay orders to ship out. So let's go do that. All right, I'm back at the warehouse, shipping some eBay orders. This is the first one right here. I pulled this from my storage unit. This is a 1983 yearbook. I had it listed for like 25 bucks or best offer. Someone sent an offer of $18 plus shipping and I accepted. I've only got like a dollar or two into this. So that's about usually all I'll pay for yearbooks. Okay, next is a couple cars. Uh, first is H7. So this is John Deere right here. And that same buyer got one right here in E7. It is a Texaco truck. Um, buyer bought both of these for $31.98 plus shipping. Both of those are going out to a viewer named Karen who has bought for me before. So Karen, thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next we're going over here, D1. Got a number of things that sold out of here. I listed all those video games yesterday that I picked up last weekend and most of them sold within 24 hours. Uh, let's see, first is Yoshi's World. Yoshi's Wooly World. This sold for $17.99 free shipping. By the way, I've got um, less than $3 each into these. I picked up eight of them for $20. Uh, next one is Paper Mario Color Splash right here. This sold for $22.99 free shipping. Uh, Super Mario Maker that sold for $11.99 free shipping. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse that sold for $16.99 free shipping. Legend of Zelda right here. Uh, let's see, Skyward Sword, that sold for $29.99 free shipping. Mario Kart 8, that sold for $19.99 free shipping. And what is this, Odd World Munch's Odyssey, that sold for $8.99 free shipping. And this one's actually going out to viewer Stephanie bought this. So Stephanie, thank you so much for the business. Hope you like this game. Okay, next is over here in A1. This is a model plane. I got this at a garage sale for a couple bucks. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is going out to viewer named Mitchell, who is in the Air Force right now, training to become a pilot. So Mitchell... Thank you so much for the support and I wish you the best of luck. Okay, next we're coming up here to B8. So this car right here, 
This is a 1949 Mercury Coupe. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is an E2. Tom Hamilton Talking Bobblehead. This is also in all that stuff I got in Cleveland. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Okay, next order has three cars. Two of them are right here in B8. This is a Plymouth Barracuda. This one right here, 1957 Chevy Bel Air, Fire Chief Edition. And next is up here in E8. This is a 1970 Chevelle. These three sold for $54.97 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.